Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add clip-in extensions into your full lace wig. This wig is from myfirstwig.com, and it actually comes with a full set of clip-in extensions. So this is the perfect solution for all you ladies out there who are interested in wearing wigs, but sometimes feel like the wig may look a little too thin, or if you're interested in using your full lace wig for a long period of time, and maybe you feel like over time it loses some of its flair, later on you can add in the clip-ins and just zhuzh it up and add some more drama back into it. So there's a bunch of different ways you can use these clip-ins. They're really, really easy to use and style. This is the finished look that you get. Very thick, very glamorous, very, very easy to do, like I said. So if you are interested in learning more about this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the wig that I am going to be working with today is from My First Wig, which is the sister company of RPG Show. You guys know I love RPG Show. I'm constantly wearing RPG Show wigs. So this is the same people, but it's um, a different website, My First Wig. I made a whole video just dedicated to my first wig and kind of telling you all about it and what the purpose of it is and basically just showing you everything that comes with the wig because with my first wig you get a whole bunch of extras so if you are interested in a my first wig if you are a beginner with wigs or if you're just looking for a good staple wig that just comes with everything that you need for your first wig then definitely check out that video it'll be linked down below and definitely check out myfirstwig.com so this is the same black wig from that video. I have not worn it in a while. Um, so it was just kind of chilling in the box. Not sure what it's looking like right now, but that's kind of the whole point of this video is to show you guys how I'm going to style it. So I'm just going to put it on for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like just plopped on again from out of the box. It's all like crinkled up as you can see because it was kind of all folded up into the box. Um, I should have been storing it on my wig head, but I was in the process of moving, so it had to be in the box. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys how I would style this wig, but with a twist, I wanted to show you guys how I would style it with clip-in extensions because with my first wig, this wig came with its own set of clip-in extensions, which is really, really cool because I've never heard of a wig coming with extra hair to make the wig thicker if you want it to be thicker. So I think that's a really, really great concept because some people prefer to just wear the hair a little bit thinner because it can look a little bit more natural, but some people wanna go for more drama and wanna use extra hair so their wig can be really, really thick and fabulous. So it gives you the option to have like the more natural look or clip in some extra hair for some more drama. Also, you can leave the clip-ins to the side for your first few months of wearing the wig. And if you feel like over time, maybe you were being a little bit rough on the wig when you were brushing it and you lost a lot of hair, these wigs really don't shed on their own unless unless they get a lot of wear and tear and if you're not being like super, super careful when you're brushing it, but it happens. So if you do feel like the wig has lost some hair over the course of you wearing it, you can always use your clip-ins to kind of bring back some of that volume. So there's a bunch of different reasons and ways that you can use these clip-ins. Today, I'm just gonna show you how to use them, how to apply them to your wig and how to style them. So I'm not gonna worry too much about my parting. Um, I know it doesn't look super on fleek right now, but I'm gonna leave that for last. The first thing I'm going to do is just fully brush through the wig. You want it to be free of any tangles. And these wigs really do not mat up or tangle very badly. Like I said, I literally just threw this wig in a box and it's been sitting there for probably about a month now, but it's still pretty tangle free and it doesn't have any matting or anything. So it's really easy to brush through. Okay, so let's check out these clip-ins. I haven't even checked them out for myself yet. So I'm just going to cut off the little plastic zip ties that are holding it together. So yeah, this is not just a bundle of hair, it actually is clip-in. So when you unravel it, you will see the individual pieces and you will see that there are clips attached. So here we have a four clip piece. I'm not sure exactly how many inches this is. I'm guessing it's at least 
20 inches because it's about the same length of the wig. Obviously, you want it to be like the same length. That just makes sense. So they know what they're doing. I'm not, I don't remember exactly how many inches this wig is, but all the information is in the first video that I made with this wig. So like I said, if you want all the specs and the details of this wig and this hair, go watch the first video. But anyway, here's one with four clips and then another one with four clips. Then here's one with three clips, another one with three clips, and then you get four pieces that just have one clip on it. So there's four of those. So all together you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces for your clip-ins. And if I remember correctly from years back when I used to wear clip-ins in my natural hair, usually when you buy a pack of clip-ins, I wanna say it's about eight pieces, isn't it? Isn't it about eight to 10 pieces that you usually get? So this is like a full set of clip-ins. Okay, so let's clip these bad boys in and add some fullness to this wig. Of course, this wig does not necessarily need it. The first time that I showed this wig to you guys, I just, you know, wore the wig and I didn't use the clip-ins. And to me, it's a good thickness. I don't think that the wig looks super thin. I don't think that it looks cheap or anything like that. I think that it looks pretty natural. You know, if my hair was naturally this long, I would think that this is about how thick it would be. But like I said, we can always add a little bit extra, you know. So just part it off and then clip up the rest of the hair so it's not in your way. And now you have a section. And I'm gonna start off with the three clip piece cause that's the right size. So just open up all the clips and slide it in and clip it in. So you can kind of wiggle it around to get a good grip and then clip it and then let the hair down and part off another section that's a little bit higher up. And I think now I can use a four clip piece. Yeah, so use the three clip piece first, then moving up, I'm gonna go with a four clip piece and just pull it that in there. And just keep doing that. So now I'm on to my third piece. Bring your hair up out of the way. I'm gonna use another four piece. So this is the second four piece, or four clip piece. And this literally works just the same way as if you were clipping it into your natural hair. No difference whatsoever. So now all I have left is one three clip piece and all of my little one clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this three clip around the top of my head, so section off another section. Open up the clips and clip it on. Super, super easy. And honestly, it doesn't even matter if you part it off perfectly in a straight line or if you get the clips perfectly. As long as they're in there, as long as it's close up to your scalp and as long as it's secure, your hair is all gonna be falling down on top of it so no one's gonna see your clip configuration. As long as you got it in there, you're good. So I wouldn't spend too much time trying to get it like perfectly straight. Like I'll show you, I don't know if you guys can see how mine looks. I know everything is black so it might be hard to see but I literally just parted it off and clipped it on there however I could get it on there. Like it really doesn't matter. And then when you let the top layer down, you can't see anything anyway. I still have all of these little one pieces. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna need them because this feels pretty thick already. Look at my wig I'm trying to fall off. Scoop that back on. So let's bring all the hair to the front now and see what we're working with. Woo! This is thick. That actually really made a difference. I don't know if you can just tell on camera, but I think you can tell. Yeah, you can definitely tell. That made a huge difference in thickness. Like this, it feels a little bit heavier. It definitely feels thicker and it definitely looks thicker. So you can see I didn't even use the whole set. Like I still have four more pieces left that I could put around the front if I wanted to, but I don't even think I need it. 
Okay, so now that you've got them clipped in, you can just go through and brush the hair out again just to get everything all combined and cohesive. Okay, so to style this wig, I kind of want to go for just like a loose, wavy, mermaidy, effortless look. So I have my Numi 3-in-1 curling wand heating up over to the side, and I have the biggest barrel on it. If you watched my How I Straighten My Natural Hair video, um, I also showed how I wave it, and I used this. It comes with like different barrels and stuff that you can clip on. I'm using the big barrel because I kind of just want some effortless waves. And I'm just going to take random chunks, bring all the hair to the front, and just take random chunks starting at the bottom, pretty big chunks, and just wrap it around. Twist and wrap. Hold on there for maybe about 10 seconds, and let it go. Give you a nice little ringlet. And just repeat that randomly all throughout the hair. And I'm just gonna make sure I curl this away from my face. And I'm gonna hold this one on there a little bit longer because I want this specific piece to be really wavy. And there we go. Voila. And then once again, hit it with some hairspray. And now you can just run your fingers through it to fluff it up. And with my wigs, I always like to hit the top with some hairspray and then kind of flatten it down with my curling wand just in case there's any lumps and bumps or any flyaways. Um, the flatter your wig is to your head around the parting area, the more natural it'll look. You don't want it to be lumpy. Okay, so I'm gonna go fix my baby hair parting situation and just kind of perfect it a little bit. You guys don't need to see that. I do that in all my videos. If you wanna know how I make my parting space look natural, I will link a video down below in which I show it, but I'm just gonna skip over that real quick. Okay, so here is pretty much the finished look. As you can see, it's very thick and voluminous and just, glamorous and dramatic and whatever else you want it to be. Um, this hairstyle was super easy. One, because it's a wig, so you just pull up it on. Two, because it's nice Brazilian virgin hair, so it's not fussy, it's not tangly, it's not frizzy. Three, because the clip-in extensions are super, super easy to put in, takes like less than 10 minutes to put them in. And four, because waving this hair is not hard at all. It literally took me 10 minutes to go through the whole hair, wrap it around my curling wand and get some little effortless waves just to give it some body and some pizzazz. Hit it with some hairspray, fix your part a little bit, brush down your baby hairs, and you are good to go, girl. And as you can see, this hair is very healthy looking and shiny and bouncy and just awesome. So I definitely feel like I'm ready to go for a night out or something with this hair. Um, it definitely looks a lot more glamorous than the first video that I made. So I think the clip-ins really do help. But yeah, this is just a really easy way to add some volume and some drama to your wigs. And another cool idea is if you had a wig and you wanted to add something fun to it, you could do clip-ins in another color. So you could add like some highlights, some low lights, blue, green, purple, whatever you wanted to do with the clip-ins to just add like pops of color throughout the hair. I think that would be really cool too. So you can definitely do this with any wig that you, like let's say you already have a wig from RPG show, but it didn't, it wasn't from my first wig so it didn't come with the clip-ins you can go and get your own clip-ins to add into it 
Or if you're just looking for the total package, you can definitely go to myfirstwig.com. It comes with the full lace wig, it comes with the clip-ins, it comes with a wig stand, it comes with a wig cap, it comes with a comb, it comes with a holder, like a case for your wig. It just basically comes with everything you could ever need in this box. Um, so I definitely recommend it, just so that you don't have to go all over the place getting everything separately. If you're a beginner with wigs, or if you just, like I said, want the whole package, package my first wig is a really really good option because it just gives you everything you could ever need and the fact that they give you a whole set of clippings like I still can't get over that that is like really really smart also, if you're worried about the price of the My First Wig whole bundle deal with the wig and the clip-ins and everything included, just either refer to my video that I made that's called Why Wigs Are Better Than Weaves because in that video, I basically break down the whole price. I break down all the pros and cons. I break down all the benefits and I basically explain how it's an investment and it can actually save you money in the long run. Also, you have to remember that in this package, you are getting a whole full lace wig and you are getting a whole set of clip-ins as well as a million accessories to go with it so it's like a package deal and you really are saving money at the end of the day so definitely check it out if you're interested let me know what you think in the comments down below and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye